Not just every day, but disinfecting every flight is what Delta Airlines is promising its passengers. And the next crew to take this A220 to its next city receives this certificate. Our in-flight service team and ACS team use this as a verification process to, to ensure that the aircraft meets the new Delta clean standards. But for too many of us, the impression of the industry under COVID has looked more like this. Passengers crowded into every seat of the remaining jets flying. Delta forming a subsidiary just to deal with making its flights cleaner and safer. It's manufactured its own shields for gate and ticket counters. More reminders to maintain six feet of social distancing on and off the plane. People's confidence is coming back. In terms Tom Gonchar is Delta's vice president for its Seattle hub. So my question to you is if I get on a Delta flight and you're promising me I'm going to be at least one seat separated from somebody else, how are you going to guarantee that that's going to happen? We are guaranteeing it and we're going to guarantee that through the end of September and reevaluate it then. And passengers have questions. Delta flight attendant Alicia McCraney. Everybody's cautious, you know, even us as a flight attendant. Everybody wants to make sure that certain precautions are being taken. It's not just airlines. SeaTac Airport now requires masks. Most people are wearing them. Some are not. Restaurants are getting ultraviolet hand sanitizers for staff to both check for and zap germs. Business is picking up. So when I was here in March, that restaurant was closed. You could have gone bowling in the concourse and not hit anybody. By the numbers, 2,500 passengers a day is what we had at the low point. It's now four times higher than that, but it's still 87% below where SeaTac would have been at this time of year. Very clean, um, you know, they talked about um, wearing masks on board. I, everybody I saw had a mask on. For Patty and Neil Dietrich heading to Yakima from Europe, Delta came through, confidence to fly again. At SeaTac, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.